All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up your buffer tank. So I've got a 100 gallon uh, buffer tank. You can do a little less than this. You can probably do a 50 gallon, but I like to do 100 just because I've got multiple things running. I got my soft wash pump and my uh, high pressure pump. So I, I, if I have another worker, we got two water things going at the same time. So I kind of need that flexibility, but so let's just dive right into it. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna get is a Hudson float valve. So if I open this up right here, you can see it right in there. So what a Hudson float valve is, it basically, once the water, once you're filling up your tank, once it uh, goes up to a certain level, I think one those uh, circles right there, it cuts off the water so it doesn't overflow, which is really good. So how to set up a Hudson float valve. All you do is drill, I see I kind of messed mine up, so you're gonna wanna do it a little differently, but you're gonna wanna drill a hole in your uh, buffer tank and you're gonna get a bulkhead fitting. So a bulkhead fitting, if you guys don't know what they are, they are, they usually come with the tanks. They're right, they're those black things right there. Um, I also have one in my SH, sorry, I have one in my, SH tank that I covered. So that's a bulkhead fitting. You can buy them at Home Depot um, or any other uh, uh, hardware store. So that's how you're gonna connect it. So it's, you screw it in kinda, and then you're gonna get like a half inch um, to hose barb fitting that um, will go to your hose reel. So this is how you uh, fill up your water. Uh, once you get to a property, you connect your uh, spigot, to connect to their spigot. Now you don't need a hose reel, but I highly recommend one. It saves you a bunch of time. Um, but yeah, so I have the general pump hose reel. These ones are the best I've ever found. So yeah, I have 250 feet of Flexilla 5 Ace, hook it up to their house. That feeds to my, um, you can kind of see it, my filter right there, which just goes to my Hudson float valve. So that's how the water gets into the buffer tank. Now, I have a proportioner um, for my soft wash system, so I built myself a drop stick uh, just to get the water through it. And drop sticks are pretty easy to make too. You just get a half inch um, PVC pipe and get a threaded uh, 90 degree elbow and connect that to your, your proportioner or um, whatever else you want to connect it to. So yeah, moving over here, so this right here you just drill a little hole this is for the water that um kind of cycles you don't want your water to cycle so this usually is connected to a, a place down here you don't want your water to be cycling because that will get too hot and it will kind of screw up your your motor right there and um you want that water to spit back into your buffer tank so just drill a little hole and disconnect that from that place it's, it should be right there. So I kind of close that off with a, I think it's a fourth um, threaded just to close that off. And then, yeah, I drilled a little hole and it goes right into there. So down here, I bought this at Home Depot. It's just like a um, dual garden hose connector. So I connected that to, a, I have right there, if you can, I'll zoom in actually. I have a, a threaded male to male uh, garden hose barb so that connects to the inside of my Hudson or my um, this piece right here I forgot the bulkheads bulkhead fitting sorry and then that is threaded to my um, that little barb and that goes to this this thing right here so I bought this at Home Depot it was around 20 bucks maybe but what it does is this lever right here, if I turn this on, it will uh, start feeding water to my pressure washer. So, um, yeah, so turn that on before you start your pressure washer always. I've accidentally left that closed and ran my pressure washer and it's dry and it's not good. So make sure that's the first thing you do when you get to your property is turn that on. Uh, then this other one is just a dump valve. So I think, where's my line right here? Yeah, here it is. So I just connected this just to some 5 Ace Flexzilla. So once I turn this on, this will empty my tank. I'll pour a little water out. You can see the water kind of going out there. And just turn that off. And that's basically it. So buffer tanks are good for um, pressure washers that 
are more than four gallon a minute. So usually when you get to a property, um, most houses and uh, commercial buildings, they only uh, spit out a certain amount of water. So you're gonna need a buffer tank if you have more than a four gallon a minute. I think four gallon a minute is okay for some properties, but if you have more than four gallon a minute, you definitely need a buffer tank. I just got one because I wanted to get my soft wash system um, connected to it, so I kind of needed that. But yeah, so that's basically it. Um, if you have less than a four gallon minute, you don't need a buffer tank. Um, especially if you don't have a soft wash system, you don't need a buffer tank. You can just connect to your spigot um, and connect that, this hose, that would go to your customer's house. So um, that's the only reason why you would need a buffer tank. And that's kind of how I set mine up. I just kind of used, um, I drilled holes for the eyelet bolts and ratchet strapped it all down. So it's, it's secure and ready to go. Um, I've got, if you guys are new here, I got a lot of other videos on how to really build my trailer, how much it all costs and just about everything that you see, I have videos on. So make sure you leave a comment, like this video and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.